Good morning. I am so glad that you all are here with us this morning. All your bright and shining faces, right? So um, I have a question for you. So what is something that you drink when you are thirsty? What is the best thing to drink when you're thirsty? What do you think, Catherine? Water. Water. That's right. Good job. You got the answer correct. So water helps us um, whenever we are feeling thirsty. So will you hold that for me for a minute? Thank you. So I'm going to take a quick drink, okay? Yes, that water is perfect. That helped me. I was thirsty, and that helped me. That helped quench my thirst, okay? and But, you know, the thing is, whenever we uh, drink water or drink anything, um, we know that water is the best thing for us. Um, but is that one sip of water that I took, is that going to keep me good for the day? Am I, I'm going to get thirsty again, right? Yeah, i got to keep drinking that water. Well, I want to tell you um, about a, a, a story that's in the Bible. It's found in the book of John. I'm going to read two uh, verses for you guys. Um, And it's a situation where Jesus um, is with a woman at a well. And where do do we get from the well? What do you think is in the well? Water, right? Yes. So, so they're 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 talking about water, right? So, um, but in this, in in the book of John, chapter four, verse ten, says Jesus replied, "If you only knew the gift God has for you and who you are speaking to, you would ask me, and I would give you living water." And then a little bit further down in verse fourteen, it tells us, "But those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh, bubbling spring within them." giving them eternal life. And so this woman's like, she's like, what? Give me some of that water. I want to, I don't want to have to keep drinking water all the time. But what Jesus was referring to was that there's something within our spirit, something within us in each and every one of us that we crave something, we thirst for something. And whenever we hear about Jesus and his love for us, we find out, oh, that's what I've been craving. That is what I need in my life. Jesus loves me, and whenever I ask him into my heart, he's going to be with me forever and ever, and that is going to satisfy what I've been looking for. And so what Jesus was trying to tell her is that whenever you follow me, you are no longer going to thirst for certain things. I am going to satisfy that thirst. And so Jesus is there for us all the time. And, and, and he's way better than any drink of spring water that we may take. Um, Jesus is always there for us, and he satisfies that thirst that's within us, that we know we are missing something, and that peace that's missing is Jesus. All right, let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you so much for satisfying that thirst that each and every one of us have. Help us to be great examples to others that maybe have not heard about you, that we can tell them about you, and that um, how that by you being in their lives, that that will satisfy something that we've been looking for. Help us to be great examples for those and, and share the living water that you give. In your holy and wonderful name we pray. Amen.